A lot of times your spearfishing journey or free diving journey has, has moved you on past the plastics and you want to get a different material. The reason for different blade materials is it just makes the, your, your kicking, your kick cycles in the water more efficient. If someone is swimming with this blade and I have a high-end carbon fiber blade, they're probably doing three kick cycles or maybe even more, three or four, two to four kick cycles to keep up with my one. So um, even though these are efficient beyond the shorter blades, there are different materials that we have to make things even a little easier for you in the water. So you go from plastics, moving on to your, your basic fiberglass blade. If I had these and someone else had their plastics, you're probably doing a, a two kick cycles to their one. So it's a lot more efficient. Um, the water just whips off this blade a lot more efficiently than your basic plastic blade. You can see it has rails. All, all blades have a, a nice long rail to them. Some have a little bit higher railing as, we'll, as you'll see later on. Um, these basic fiberglass blades, they pretty much all come in, in the same lengths but they do come in different stiffnesses. As you can see, this one has a soft. They usually come in an extra soft, soft up to hard. Maybe some even come extra hard. And really this comes down to your body weight. Uh, if, if someone, say they're around 90 pounds, comes into the shop, I'm saying, okay, let's try an extra soft and we'll see how that goes. These things are pretty much indestructible. You can beat them up, twist them, pound them on the reef. They're gonna get scratched and nicked, but so what, I mean, these things, my fiberglass blades, I've had them 10 years. I travel over the world, throw them up on rocks and boats, it doesn't matter. With a lot of uh, fiberglass uh, composite blades on the market, you'll, you'll, you'll see different patterns or different color materials. This, this is kind of a quote unquote an ice kind of pattern or, or texture, if you will. You can see my hands a little bit translucent. Um, so that's kind of neat in the water. So there's different, different camos, different patterns, black up to pinks, up to your whites to whatever you want nowadays, but um, just keep in mind these, these fiberglass blades is your kind of next step up from the plastic blades and you're not spending a ton of money. You can get away with, you know, 150 bucks on these guys. Hey guys, I think the next step up from a fiberglass composite would be a kind of a composite resin. I know some people out there are gonna say it's all, all the same, but depends on the company, depends on their manufacturing process. Um, but these guys, this is, what I would consider a, a high-end composite resin. You can actually maybe hear that. That material is acting a little bit differently than your when I'm waving a fiberglass blade. But basically, the properties of, of, of this higher-end blade is a lot more efficient than your fiberglass. So with someone who has your basic fiberglass blade and I have this on, they're probably doing two kick cycles to my one. So a lot more efficient. The water's whipping off of this a lot easier. Um, they also have a, a higher rail, uh, water rail, so, so the water will, will, will channel better um, as you move through your, your kick. Another thing I'd like to mention, usually the, the, the higher quality material, the higher brand that you go, the, the blade will have a, a bigger angle. The reason for the larger angle is so you're not, using just your ankles as you push through the water. Um, this actually forces you to kind of use a little bit more of your upper upper legs, like your quads, just kind of get everything together. So it's a kind of one extension as you as you move through the water and, and push the water through your kick cycle. This particular material, this particular model, you see it's, it's highly translucent. You can see my fin, uh, makes for great photography, underwater photography. A lot of different artwork on these kind of blades nowadays. Um, this one has a bunch of sharks. You'll, you'll see whales, um, tiger sharks, great white sharks. You know, different kind of uh, kind of trippy artwork these days on these. Um, so whatever you want, whatever it is that you're looking for to kind of match your style and, and your wetsuit and, and everything. For me, it always goes back to the material. These composite resin blades, they're basically indestructible. I mean, I've had mine over 10 years. I've had customers that have had them you know, longer than that. Um, a lot of these companies, 
if they do break, they're gonna replace them right away. Just, there's no issue. And guys, the final kind of top level uh, blade material is your carbon fiber. What is carbon fiber, you ask? So when, when you see this kind of weave material, you can see that that's a carbon fiber. You've, you've carbon fibers in everything these days from, from bicycles to spear gun blades. But generally, the carbon fiber material is going to be a lot more expensive. The great quality about a carbon fiber blade is that it's very, very light. And people would say, well, why do you want a super light blade on your, on your foot while you're swimming around? Well, because you don't feel it. They're not as durable as your fiberglass or your composites or your plastics. So you got to be careful on the reef. Basically, when you think of carbon fiber blades, think of it's, it's the lightest. It's going to be the easiest for you to, to, to kick and, and not really feel the water that you're kicking. It's just kind of how they're designed. We have tons of carbon fiber blades out there on the market these days. Um, it really comes down to the company, how they want to produce it. As you can see between these two, the carbon fiber weave is a little bit different. These V3s are probably your higher, higher end blade, where, where these ones would be your kind of basic carbon fiber blade. And the real difference is these are a ton lighter, like super, super light compared to these guys, a little bit heavier, but still super light. Okay guys, that's a wrap for today. We appreciate you checking our video out. Please give us a like, subscribe to the page, and we'll see you next time.